I just finished my first weekend together with my Bamboo Lab A1 printer and after a total of 27 different prints and over 44 hours of actual printing I found a way to print almost two and a half times faster compared to using the very convenient handy app and this is all actually done in the Bamboo Studio slicer and not in the actual phone app so please do take the time to continue watching until the end of this video and also maybe also subscribing to this brand new 3d printing channel uh, especially if you are a new bamboo lab a1 or any other bamboo lab printer user i really think you will find this video very very helpful especially if you are watching until the end so what have i been up to since you last saw me here on the channel well i have printed a benchy which took 28 minutes i have printed a compact poop bucket which is actually being used right now as i'm printing my first ever print that i have designed myself uh, which uh, if you want to see more about that and some other future updates uh, please do make sure to follow along on this channel as well then we followed up with a bamboo scraper grip which was 1.7 Seven hours and then we had some small cute handles here for the bamboo lab x1 and p1 hexagonal keys you will have links to every single thing down in the description as well which are in this amazingly designed super amazing uh, accessory box which is just print in one place on on one plate it's absolutely amazing 100 percent the best print I've ever done so far. Looks absolutely beautiful. Then I started to, to level up my uh, printing ambitions a little bit and I printed this AMS light top mount, uh, two different plates, eight plus six and a half hours for plate one and two, uh, which was like a whole day. Uh, and then we went back to some uh, smaller tools again with this uh, PTFE tube remover, which I, never used yet but i figured uh, it could be good to have together with a remaining filament estimator which has come in handy a few times afterwards just to make sure that uh, we have enough filaments uh, which actually i have almost ran out of my white spool already printing just these like accessories and i i ran the numbers just earlier so during my first 72 hours i actually have 44 hours and 33 minutes of actual printing time and 12 hours of just waiting for my one single plate at a time to cool down. So I am super excited to now have these amazing different plates uh, that I, means I can just like get started right away. And together with this second delivery from Bamboo Lab, I also got some 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 nozzles as well. So uh, if that is something you want to see some tests about, please do let me know. Uh, what do you want to see first? Do you want me to compare the different nozzles first? Do you want me to compare the different plates and if there's anything else that you want to know about this very 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 simple setup uh, please do do let me know but what i wanted to share and what i think could be the biggest improvement to all new bamboo lab users specifically if you are someone like me who has never even touched or even seen a 3d printer in real life before uh, having one in in your own home uh, if we are comparing all these different tools uh, including the the benchy here because uh, i feel like that's just a, a diagnostic tool at this point uh, if you are if i am going to compare every single like functional or like tool print that i have done so far then we have a total of three hours and 25 minutes of active printing time plus three hours of just waiting for my single plate to cool down in order to print like the next one. So that's a total of six hours and 25 minutes that I have spent on these things that I feel like it's, it's very cool. It's very interesting to print, but it's things that you kind of need for the printer. So I also doesn't really feel like it kind of counts towards the things that I was planning on using my printer for, if that makes sense. I know that the reason for why people might go with the, the Bamboo Lab and why I did it as well, is that you want to have like the phone app and you want to be able to print your things with literally just like one click on the phone. But if I would have known this from the beginning and I would have instead of clicking 
clicking once on my phone, if I would have just clicked four times on my computer, I would have saved literally four hours every day in just like printing time. So I could have get started with the next prints a lot faster and I could have print like almost like, you know, three, four times as much. So how does this actually work? Well, we are gonna log in to Maker World on your computer. And then we're going to find all the different models that we want to print. And if you have been using your phone app on Maker World and you have liked it or if you have saved it in some collections, you will find everything on the actual desktop version as well. So it's super easy to see literally every single print that you want to print. Then you just select this specific profile and instead of opening in Bamboo Studio, you simply just download the 3MF file. Just download it and keep track on it for now. And then once once you've downloaded all the files that you want to print, that's when you open Bamboo Studio separately, create a new project, and then you just drag all the files that you want to print into the studio onto the, the Bamboo plate at the same time. Then it might look a little bit messy, but don't worry, we're going to fix this right away. Because the only thing you need to do is that with all these objects already highlighted, just click on this icon, which is arrange all objects and then auto rotate for arrangement just to make sure that you're maximizing the, the actual space. Then all you have to do is just to click on slice plate up in the right corner, which would just prepare the file to be exported to the actual printer. And here we can see that every single one of these uh, tool prints that I have spent literally the entire day of just printing uh, can actually fit on one single plate without any problem at all. And the total printing time is only two hours and 38 minutes. And if we compare that with the six hours and 25 minutes that I spent actually printing and just waiting for the plates to cool down, then this is 58.96 six percent faster which is 2.44 times faster than just doing everything manually from the app one by one and then of course waiting 30 minutes for your one single plate to cool down and if you take a closer look we're actually only using like a quarter of this entire plate so i can literally copy all these products print out this entire batch four times on the same plate and of course if you do that the entire printing time is then going up to like nine hours and 51 minutes in this case uh, but if you for example would do this overnight while you're sleeping anyway then we've literally saved over 12 hours in printing and waiting time because we then have to wait in order to ac actually change the plate this way we can print all night while we're sleeping and we don't have to like actually change the plate in between all these different prints. Now, before you say anything, before you leave any, any angry comments down below, uh, one thing to point out is that all these products will now of course be the same color. This of course does not work with every single print. For example, this very cute puppy. I, I wanted this to be orange in, in this case, so that would not have worked. And that's also why it's not included on this uh, tool plate. And for example, this uh, YouTube subscribe button, which I kind of feel like it has to be like white and red. It, it will look weird if this would be like a gray or, or like black. Uh, but one thing that is super cool with this, which is another technique that you definitely should use if you're starting to design your items yourself, is that although this looks like it is two colors and, and it is two colors, actually print it separately. So you print all the white parts by itself and then you print these red parts by yourselves and then you just put them together afterwards. So especially if you are trying to design things yourself and definitely if you are limited to only like just like me one printer and if you only have one plate then you definitely want to invest some time into looking into how can you make the design maybe in the slicer or maybe when you're designing it yourself uh, just more efficient in terms of, of the colors because for example if you would just change one or two items uh, on the same plate to different colors your time and and filament usage will just like skyrocket because of all the the poop that you will have uh, between all the different uh, prime towers and purge tower changes. And just for, for reference of everything that I've, I've mentioned, that is literally everything I have been printing during these days. This is the, the total amount of, of poop that I've had. Uh, but I've also not printed, I don't think I printed a single one. Uh, the, the accessory box is, I think, the only thing that I have printed 
in multiple colors, like in uh, with the, the AMS light actually changing colors per every layer. But based on the horror stories and all the YouTube videos I watched before, I was kind of expecting this to be the case for every single product. But this is only the case if your print has a lot of different colors within the same layer. So yeah, just try to, to plan ahead a little bit and try to save both printing time and also printing cost. Now I'm literally just like, instead of, of seeing something on like Maker World or any of the other platforms, uh, instead of printing it like right away, even though my printer might be available and I'm not printing anything, uh, I'm just saving it based on the color. So then when I have like a full plate of like black, then I just go ahead, I print it overnight and it just saves me so much time. And I can then just sneak in some, some other prints uh, and I, it feels like I literally have like two or, or yeah, 2.44 times the efficiency uh, just by using this technique. So now I have time to uh, print my first, uh, I think this is gonna be some kind of, uh, aroma diffuser bottle holder for my wife. Not entirely sure what we are doing right now, to be honest, but uh, you know, if the wife wants to play around, design something, although this may not be like the most practical and an economical thing you can do on a 3D printer, since you could literally just go to Ikea and buy the exact same thing for like half the price compared to what I pay for filaments. Um, I think we can all agree that if the wife wants to play around, it is a, a compromise worth doing and and it's a long-term investment for uh, both my 3D printing and marriage in general. And if you have watched now until the end and actually found this video useful or maybe just entertaining or if you for some other reason wants to see me uh, later this week when I have my next video coming out, please do uh, subscribe uh, to this channel. Uh, it really, really means a lot. Uh, just starting out now and uh, Although I am a full-time YouTuber with uh, another channel somewhere else online. Uh, this is uh, my passion project. This is my happy place right now. And I am super, super excited to uh, see where, where this journey, this channel, and hopefully maybe this even new career might take me. Until then, thank you all so much for watching this video. My name is Lucas. It starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.